What's up with it, everybody? Welcome back. This is the Sober Gang Experience Podcast, and I will be your host for the day. If you're new to the show, I'm Mr. Show Out TV, and this is the channel where we talk about addiction-related topics. I have guest speakers from all around the world that come on my show and they share their stories about addiction in order to inspire and motivate people that recovery is possible. But today, I got a very special uh, broadcast that I will do. It's pretty much aimed towards uh, Bam Majera, the star of the early 2000s show, Jackass. Um, he did a spinoff called Viva La Band. He's a, a celebrity, but he's been going through a downward spiral in this addiction. And we all know how addiction really just tear everything up in your life. So we're going to break down what is really going on with Bam. Hopefully, hopefully he can see this episode, see this broadcast, and really get the help that he need. Because look at here, look at here, look at here. On my show, I try to highlight the things that is going on in order that some people can see and relate to and change. I'm not in no way, shape, or form trying to highlight this man downfall right now, trying to kick him way down. I'm not trying to do any of that. Just hopefully that he see this broadcast and get the help that he need. Because if he don't get the help that he need anytime soon, hey, we might lose, man. And we might lose, man. But this is the Sober Gang Experience Podcast, everybody. We finna turn things up a little bit up in here. You know, you know we finna turn it up. So I would love for you guys to stick around to the all the way through the end of the show to its entirety. And first of all, first and foremost, I'm going to need you guys to go and hit that like button. Go and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Because without hitting that like button, our videos will not be found. So take the time out right now to hit the like button. It will not cost you a thing. Hit the like button. And if you're new to this channel right now, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. We will appreciate your subscription. We're going to turn up for a little bit. Y'all know how I do. This is Mr. Show Out TV. So stick around with me and enjoy this broadcast. Y'all, let's get to it. At a late age in my life. Welcome to the Sober Gang Experience Podcast with Mr. Show Out TV. It's great to have you here with us today. I hope this podcast provides you with the inspiration to continue your journey towards a sober lifestyle. Please click the like and subscribe button before you start watching. Enjoy the show. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. I am Mr. Show Out TV, and I will be your host for today. This is the Sober Gang Experience Podcast, where we try to motivate and inspire people in addiction. We also try to give you things that will add value to your life. So if you're new to the channel right now, and if you're going through anything, even if you ain't going through anything right now, just stick around for a little while to see what I got to offer. And this is my channel where you can go back and watch any of my, my latest episodes. We got guest speakers from all around the world, man. We got guest speakers that come on my platform and they share their battles with addiction. Well, I have interviews from people from all around the world. So I would love for you guys just to stick around because I'm trying to add some value to your life. I'm trying to add some information about addiction in order to help you in your life because I know what I'm talking about because I also been through addiction myself and I managed to come out on the good on the, on, on the other side of it. See, a lot of people don't manage to come out on the other side of addiction. You know, it's, it's just an uphill battle every day in addiction that a lot of people have to climb. You know, so I created this show to try to inspire and motivate and give people hope that they can make it out of addiction. Because I know it's hard. A lot of people been in addiction for so many years and they don't think it's no way out. But it is a way out. You got to put your mind to it and you got to lead. And you got to you got to you got to trust in your faith. Also, that's a big thing in, um, in addiction. But today 
Uh, we go talk about Bam, everybody. Bam and Jerry, man. He's been going through a lot. He's been going through a lot. So hit the like, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we're going to keep it rolling. Bam been going through a lot probably over the last 15 to 20 years, y'all. Now, everybody been knowing him. You know, he's a celebrity from Jackass, from Viva La Bam, and, you know, and, but we've been, we've been watching him. We've been watching him, man. And a lot of people in this circle really been trying to help him out. A lot of people, Steve O, you know, even Steve O don't battle the addiction, man. Look, this addiction don't care about none of us. This addiction is real, man. Uh, battling with any kind of uh, substance abuse, man, it, it don't care about us. But right now, I, I really, I'm taking the time out to highlight what is going on with Bam because I really think he needs to see this broadcast. It's, it's, uh, they put him, they placed him on psychiatric hold, man. Come on, man. Uh, his wife and everything like that done really left him. Um, she don't want him to do nothing. She don't want nothing to do with him, man. I, I think he's trying to say that she keeping the kids from him and all that type of stuff, man. All what I'm really trying to say, y'all, listen. Bam right now just need our support. Bam right now just need us to uh, send us some good words of encouragement. Bam, if you out there and you're watching this right now, ain't no way, shape, or form I'm trying to bash you, brother. Because I know exactly what you're going through and I know the struggle. I, I know how hard it is. I know how how things go, you know what I mean? When everything seems like you, you, you're back against the wall and ain't nobody listening to you. I understand exactly what you're going through, brother. So we're going to try to highlight these things real quick. I'm going to do a quick screen share, everybody. We're going to try to break down what's really going on with my boy Bam. Something is going on with Bam Margera, which is a sign of just how tortured he is, both mentally and emotionally. After all, he's been making it very clear to everyone who will listen and many who don't want to that he has demands and that he wants them met, except his demands are unreasonable and he's not in a position to make such demands. But that hasn't stopped him from doing various... And like I like to say, man, like when you're in a position like you are, bam, you really don't have no way to be making demands, man. The only thing you just really need to do is just sit down and listen. See, that's one problem that we all have, bam. We don't want to listen. We don't want to listen, man. You, hey, sometimes you just got to suck it up, bro. You got to suck it up. Because right now, how can you be in a situation to make demands? The courts don't want to hear you. Your friends don't want to hear you. Bro, you got to get it together. Things, including dropping off the grid once again and making people think he might have taken his own life. We'll break it down for you. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. To start off, we need to tell you the events that helped lead up to this new event because it only makes sense when you see it all together. This is an official message to anybody that cares about me whatsoever. I haven't seen Phoenix in two months and I'm so fed up, I cry every One thing about it, Bam, why do you want to see your son? Why do you want your son to see you like that? Why do you want to see, why do you want, bro, 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 probably every time you pull up to the house, you probably high and drunk. You can't have no decent playtime with your son when you like that, bro. And your wife, your ex-wife, she know that. Everybody know that. See, you using that as a scapegoat, but you using that as a, a reason to try to pull up and show your face, show face, show face value. Nah, man. Ain't nobody finna let you around their kids, even if it is your son, bro. I know. I've been through that. I've been through that. You want to see your kid, but every time you want to see your kid, you drunk and lit. Only thing you're going to do is fall asleep. When you're around your son, your son probably going to be playing and you're going to be fall asleep. Hot, drunk. Man, come on. You can't. Your demands. If they, if your ex-wife meets your demands and she about dumb, she about dumb in a box of donuts. Hey, it don't make no sense. Let's keep going. Every day, I miss him so much. And I know that I have to wake up every day knowing that I probably won't get to talk to him or see him. You see, a number of recent stories have revolved around Bam Margera's ex, Nikki Boyd and their custody agreement for son Phoenix. As many- One thing about a Nikki Boyd, hey, you pretty, you fine in a mug, girl. She is very fine, she's very pretty. Noted at this point, she's cut off communication between him and his son, seemingly due to a viral screaming incident from months ago, which resulted in Margera being arrested for public intoxication. So yes, Nikki drives me to fucking drink. So does my- See, there it is. There it is, everybody. What do you say? Nikki drives him to fucking drink. Nah, the hell she don't, bro. It's you. 
bro it's you look your damn self in the mirror bound see that is your problem for over the last 15 20 years people have been enabling you bro people been enabling you i know you had your parents on the show they didn't enable you they rich as fuck all them rich they've been enabling you ain't nobody sitting your crazy ass down and telling you what's real bro i'm gonna tell you what's real with it right now bro you need to sit your ass down man and cut all these childish ass games out bro you almost what you in your mid 40s you in your mid 40s bro cut it out Nigga, boy go get the help you need man cut this shit out man everybody watching your spiral you crashing out live on tv you crashing out every time we see you in the media bro you crashing out you're drunk bro you look at yourself you don't even look the same bro you look you you aging like you 80 right now you look bad you look horrible man you keep this up bam bam you keep this up man and 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 bro look get it together man don't nobody owe you shit bro don't nobody out here owe you nothing you owe it all to them kids to get yourself right that's who you owe it to man you don't owe it you know what the first thing in addiction is you gotta do it for yourself i had to learn that myself you can't blame that shit on nobody else she drive you to drink man that what you tell yourself every time you go out there and do it that what that what makes you sleep at night nah we ain't going for that on the sober gang experience podcast we're not going for that bam no 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 we ain't going for that shit bro hit the like subscribe button for the go ahead and hit it hit it y'all know what it is hit the like button subscribe to the channel let's keep it going and so does my pep talking dad who tells me nothing but i'm a fat loser piece of drug addict loser at least they tell him the truth man at least they tell him the truth one thing about the truth is that it wasn't meant to feel good nah man one thing about the truth is that it was not meant to feel good and that's why it's the truth bro that's why it's the truth are your parents telling you that i guess they stop enabling you man because people don't like to see they they, they, they love ones, they sons, they daughter crash out in front of them for so long, man. You constantly going to court. You fighting to see your son. You making demands and if people don't meet your demands, you can't make nothing, bro. You can't make no damn demands. You don't even, you don't have control of nothing. You don't have control of your marriage. You don't have control of your life. So how can you make demands, man? How can you make demands? You got to get it together, man. Don't nobody owe you shit out here. Nobody. You owe it all to yourself to go get yourself together. Yeah. You can see why Nikki doesn't want him near the child because that's not how a father is supposed to act in public. Recently, Margera's lawyer, Peter W. Thompson, claimed that Nikki Boyd is not allowing her ex to see their son or have any contact either on FaceTime or the phone. The last time they were in contact was the day of the screaming match slash arrest, which was two months ago. Bam is also reportedly still trying to give his son Christmas gifts from months ago to no avail. So, and my mom is a brain manipulator, and my brother stole Castle Bam, and he thinks it's called Castle Jess, and then I have to listen to my mom say, Bam, you do have a house. Really? Where? That last line might sound like something to make Bam sound sympathetic, but don't be fooled. Yeah, Bam, that's really what you're aiming for. That's really what you're aiming for. You want people to feel sorry for you, man. I don't feel sorry for your ass, bro. You had you got everything lined up that most people want. Money, fame, success. You got it all lined up for you. But you just want to crash out. You want to crash out, man. Got your son took away from you. Ex-wife and a divorce you. You want to blame things on your brother. You're blaming things on your mom and dad. You know the only person you ain't blaming shit on is you. Yeah. Go we'll keep it real on the Sober Gang Experience podcast, everybody. Hit the like, subscribe to the channel right now if you're new to the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And drop me a comment in the comment box. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. Bam, the only person you ain't blaming is you. That's the only thing I don't hear. You point fingers, you point fingers, you point fingers, but you ain't blaming yourself. Boy, you got to look yourself in the mirror, man, because look, you too old. For somebody to be feeling sorry for you, man. Ain't nobody finna feel. People in this world don't feel sorry for you, bam. I'ma just keep it real with you. When we see you on TV, when we see you in the news, 
we already know what it is. It ain't never nothing positive or good when we see you in the news. Never. I don't feel sorry for you, man. You got it better than a lot of people, man. And you want people to feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for you, bro. It is what it is. You just crashing up. You fucking up. I'm just keep it real. Bam has made many moves recently to try and absolve himself of responsibility of certain things pertaining to his son, including trying to make a court see the true status of his past relationship with his ex. Bam, Margera, and Nikki Boyd got married back in 2013 and had their child in September of 2017. Right. Well, it's Bam. well, if I go there, then the police will come. And the, v the shaman, my best friend, came in from Persia. And I can't even go show my own property. I gotta stand behind the gate. So, yeah, April, I don't have a f***ing house. So I'm gonna smoke crack with the bum down at the boardwalk until I'm dead. See, that's what it is. You want, man, go out there and do it then. Bam, go out there and do it. You, 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 you go do it. If that's what you want to do, man. Look, I'm not finna sit up here and cuddle you. I'm not finna sit up here and coddle you. I'm not finna sit up here and tell you it gonna be okay. Man, look, look at here, look at here. What, whatever it is that you got planned in your mind you want to do, go do it. Your wife gonna be okay. Your kids gonna be okay. Your wife gonna find another dude that gonna be busting her back down. <laughs> Let me quit. But that's just real. Somebody else gonna be raising your son. Another dude gonna be raising your son because you can't do it. Now, committing the ooh or I, I don't want to just say the word because I don't think it's really you supposed to say it on here. But doing that, that's the easy way out, man. See, you a coward, bro. You a coward. People that do that take the easy way out. That's the easy way out, man. You ain't a man. You don't want to face life. You don't want to face what? You don't want to face this head on. So you want to take yourself out the game. You don't want to man up. You don't want to man up and do what it really takes to beat to, to beat recovery. You don't want to man up. You ain't got what it takes, man. You ain't got what it takes, man. You ain't got what it takes. You need it. You, hey, bro. Stop being a coward, man. Stop being a coward, bro. You got everything lined up for you. You done been you done been successful all your life. You done had money all your life, man. So now you want to go down and sit with the bums and smoke crack till you in yourself. Sad way of going out, bro. That's a sad way to end your story or your life, man. So when your your son or your daughter get to that age, when they gotta go read that chapter in your book, daddy went down to the <laughs> to the to the corner store to smoke crack and end his life. Coward, boy. Some of y'all celebrities, boy. Y'all. Unless you deliver me, Phoenix. Although there's been some discrepancy about the legality of their marriage, with Bam's team claiming that the paperwork never got filed and they were never legally married. But the former couple has reportedly been living separately since 2021, with Boyd filing for divorce as well as physical and legal custody of Phoenix. The situation is still working itself out. Get to work, Nikki, or anybody that wants to help. I want it. And you have to wonder if each step Bam takes is helping prove to the courts that he's unfit for parenting. Among yeah, he's unfit to be. Man, look at this dude. Look at him. Look at him, man. Who would trust their damn kid around this man, let alone his own son? Dude, you can't stay sober for five minutes. You, man, you'd rather go smoke crack to be around your kid. Pathetic. Yeah, I'm bashing your ass, man, because you really need a wake-up call, bro. You really, you a coward, too, man. Then you want to do the ooh-ah-eye, -ah, you want to take yourself out the game. But you pathetic, man. You pathetic. Yo, 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 child deserves better, man. Your wife deserves better. Your family members deserve better. Your mom and dad deserve better. Don't nobody want to see you crash out. And at this point, bam, they probably just getting tired of the whole situation. So it is what it is, man. You want to be a coward, take yourself out the game, go right ahead. You would just be on the headline for that one day. We, we, we won't be talking about you after the next day. 
if we all know it was coming. It won't be surprised. You won't get no sympathy for me. Or nobody else really, man. Because everybody know your situation. And a lot of people tried to help your ass already. But you don't want no help. You want to point the fingers at everybody. Or you want sympathy. You want to play that guilt role with everybody. But man, you a, you grown as fuck. I ain't nobody finna sympathize with you, man. You better get yourself together, bro. You looking bad out here in these streets, man. Get yourself together, bro. Get right. Other things. Over the past few years, the former couple has been having a very public battle. Nikki Boyd claimed that Bam wasn't providing any financial support for their son. For his part, Margera is taking umbrage with not being able to see his son at all. Not that he's making a case for himself being a good father. Bam would take offense to our statement, but he's too busy making statements and threats about what he will do if he doesn't get to be with his son. 3. The Death Wish Don't believe us? Well, not too long ago, and in a true catalyst move for this new situation, Bam was threatening to smoke crack until he's dead unless he gets to see his kid. Bam posted an alarming rant on his newest social media account, ripping his family and his estranged... You know what a lot of people is just going to tell Bam right now? Don't do it, man. Hey, we, we... What else? What else can they do, Bam? Cause I know you done been to treatment facility. I know you done been to rehab plenty of times. I know what 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 else, man? What you want them to do? Cry for you, man? What, what you want, man? You think they go give you some credibility with the judge, with the people? Man, look, dude, you like to smoke crack. You a crackhead. You a drunk. Just tell it like it is. And you know why I can tell it like it is, Bam? Because I was in that situation. I didn't smoke crack, but I was a drunk. Stone out drunk. I couldn't get it right for nothing in the world. You know what I had to do though, Bam? I had to stop pointing fingers at everybody else. I had to look myself in the mirror. I had to man up. You know, that was the best decision I ever made in my life, man. And you know what else, man? Watching your kids look at you and their eyes get big when they see you come in the house now. Dad is here. Daddy is here. That's our Superman. See, right now you a weak man, bro. Your wife is not respecting you at all. She don't look at you as no man right now, bro. You a little dude right now, man. You a little dude. You a little dude to her right now, man. Because you ain't stepping up and doing what men supposed to do. You ain't being a man. Them partying days are over, bam. Who still smoking all that dang on crack and shit and drinking like you do at their age, man? Steve O even done got it together, bro. You lost out here in the sauce, man. Bam, this ain't the early 2000s, man. It's 2023. And you still ain't figured that shit out, bro. It's not a game out here, man. You smoking crack all damn day. But you know what they got in that shit now? Fitting all, man. If you want to go and take yourself out the game, you know what? If I was somebody in his family members, y'all, I'd be go and do it, man. They probably got life insurance on you, bam. <laughs> they gonna be all right. They gonna cry over you for about two days, man, and everybody gonna move on, man. Like, damn, we tried to help him. Hey, we tried to help him. Bro, ain't, I'm not feeling sorry for you, man. You got it better than a lot of other people, man. But you choose it. That's what you choose, bro. Then you wanna be a coward, man. Do what you gotta do. I ain't feeling sorry for you. Wife. Bam says Nikki and his relatives are driving him to drink and he. He says waking up every day knowing he's probably not going to be able to speak to his son makes things even worse. At the end of the video, Bam threatens to go down to the boardwalk to smoke crack with the bums until he's dead, or until Nikki allows him to see his son. To say that this is a desperate move would be the understatement of the century. In fact, it actually proves Nikki's point about not letting Bam see his son. Because what happens if she says yes and he still doesn't get better? Or he comes over in a state that is hungover or high? That's not out of the realm of possibility here. Plus, there are worse things he could do once he sees his son again. After all, Bam's already proven he doesn't like his ex or those who support her, so why not make a big move to further stick it to her after he gets what he wants? Nikki's attorney, David Glass, said to TMZ after Bam's threat, Unfortunately, that's not how the addictions work. People's behavior does not drive others to drink. This is a typical defense mechanism.
and it shows that Bam may not have learned much in his past addictions treatment. You have to take responsibility for your own actions. Nikki sincerely hopes hopes that Bam can first achieve and then maintain sobriety for his own good and for the good of their son. That's a very fair response, unlike what Bam did. It also should be noted that Bam said in another recent video aimed at someone else that he was done drinking or doing things that hurt him and his family, so he either forgot that promise or he just failed to live up to it again. 2. Wanting support fed up with Bam and his antics, Nikki recently filed new legal docs seeking sole physical and legal custody over Phoenix, plus $15k a month in child support. In those docs, Nikki says visitation for Bam can be on the table as long as it's supervised, and he completes rehab programs for drug and alcohol abuse. Given all we know about Bam, those aren't the worst requirements in the world. But you can easily imagine what Bam said when he heard such things. He likely thinks that Nikki is trying to take him for his money and keep Phoenix forever away from him. And yet, if he... Y'all, excuse me for the interruption. I got a bad... Uh, I think it's... I got to fix some with the, uh, the computer. I think it's a Wi-Fi connection. But everybody, we can we can understand what's going on. We can, we can get the picture. Hit the like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's keep going the rehab program he arguably would be in a better place and he would get to see his son isn't that the whole point of his tirade recently bam meanwhile has tried to get the entire case against him dismissed which is rather callous yet very on brand for all he's done recently nick he also wants bam to cover her attorney fees of at least dollar 50k at the moment she says she's bringing in very little income less than dollar 4k a month between family support and public assistance in the docs she says she's found a house but needs bam's financial support to make it work and she argues he's more than capable of making support payments. Nikki claims Yeah, Bam, we, we we pretty much know that, man. You still, out of all the money you done blew on crack, alcohol, and everything else, strippers. Ain't no telling what else. Ain't no telling what else you be doing with yourself, bro. Ain't no telling how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Only you know how you do it, and the people around you know how you do it. You still got money. And in that case, that's your ex-wife. She entitled to a lot of that. Then she got your child, bro. So, dude, you know what I mean? It's, it's, they go be okay, man. I'm letting you know they go be okay. They do. Look, whether you around to see it or not, your child will be okay. Your wife will be, your ex-wife will be okay. It's up to you, man. At this point, man, at this point, Right now, and I'm telling you this, bro to bro, I'm telling you at this point right now, well, you only got one option, and that's to get yourself together, man. Because you will not see your son or your daughter. People will shun you, because right now you a little man. You doing what little boys do, little man do. Yeah, man. You a little, you a little man, man. You, you ain't being no big dog. You ain't being no boss. You supposed to be a boss, man. You ran stuff, companies, shows, and everything. You ain't no boss, man. You ain't bossing up at all, bro. Take responsibility to get your ass up. Go to a rehab facility and take it serious. Take it serious, man. Stop telling everybody what you want to do out here to yourself, man. Go do it then. Ain't nobody feeling sorry for you, bro. I don't feel sorry for your ass, man. You too damn grown. You know better. When you know better, you do better. You ain't doing nothing. Do it. Stop blaming people. Stop pointing the fingers. If y'all new to the channel right now, hit the like for the YouTube algorithm. If you're brand new to the show, subscribe to the channel right now. We're talking about Bam and Gerald. Downward spiral crashing out. Hopefully, bam, you see this and you reach out to me. Let's do an interview. I'm going to keep it real just like I keep it real, man. Because right now, I'm not going to coddle you, bro. Not going to hold your hand. And you don't know me from paint on the wall, bro. I ain't got money like you got, bro. But I can see it. I can see what you're going through. It's public information. You're going through it bad, bro. You looking bad out here in these streets, man. You need to get it together, man. Somebody, some other man will be raising your your, your daughter or your son or your son, man. That pretty wife you got, the ex-wife you got, oh yes. Somebody will be happy to have her. Yeah. They'll be happy to have her. Around their arms, man. So do what you gotta do. Take yourself out the game, man. 
You would be another you you just to be another statistic, man. That's it, bro. Another celebrity just threw everything away to smoke crack and drink. Regular news to me. Ain't nothing new. Do what you gotta do. Spam's net worth is reportedly around $55 million, considering his longtime success in TV media. But she's concerned he might be hiding assets and being reckless with money. Whether he's actually worth that amount is up for debate. But the point here is that she needs help raising their son, and this should be something he does naturally. Instead, he's only focused on what he wants, and that, that thought process keeps getting Bam in trouble. One, the new incident. So but what did Bam do now? Well, over the weekend, Bam's brother Jess, of whom was also attacked by Bam, but in a physical altercation that is getting taken to court, asked people to help look for Bam after he went AWOL. If anyone in the LA area knows of Bam's current whereabouts or a hotel he might be at, please call the LAPD immediately. He noted that he was trying to get the police to find him, but it was taking a long time. His lawyer later added to the worry by noting that Bam went to LA to try and force a meeting with his son, which is definitely not a smart thing to do for various reasons. Thankfully for all involved, Bam was eventually found and was alive and seemingly unharmed. But this kind of thing once again showcases how Bam Margera is not in his right mind and that he needs to do better for himself. Yeah, man, because I, I, I see how you move, though. I see how you move, though, Bam. You go off weeks at a time, probably laid up in a crack house, spending all your money, getting high. You go on one of them binges. And then when you finally come to, come to your senses, you want everybody to think that you done ran off and did something to yourself. You like, you like people to feel sorry for you, man. That's what it is, bro. You want people to feel sorry for you, but it's a wake up call today, bro. Cause I don't feel sorry for your ass, and you might not give a damn about me at all. Yeah, I don't give a damn about you. But one thing about it, though, Bam, I do not want to see you hurt yourself, man. I think you got a lot more to offer, Bam. Now I might done talked a lot of shit about you today because that's what's what needed. Somebody got it. Somebody guys got to be blunt with your ass, man. And that's what's needed, bro. But I don't want anything. I don't want nothing. I don't want you to go hard. Don't you know to harm yourself at all, bro. It's coming from the heart, man. I don't want you to do anything. I'm a recovery advocate. Only thing I want to do, I'm shining light on you because you need it right now. I want you to be an awesome father, bro. Man up. Man up for your son or daughter, man. Man up. Stop being a little man. Step up to the plate. You and your ex mice might not get together, but you know what? It's a possibility that if you get yourself together, y'all could. Man up, bro. Boss up. They said you estimated worth, what, 55 million probably in your bank account? You know, I'm not counting nobody pockets. You know what I mean? But bam, man, you you still got a lot of living to do. Don't throw it away on this bull cracking shit, man. Don't throw it away on this shit, man. Let's get it together, man. Let's get it together, bam. Cause I believe that you got a lot good left in you, man. You got a lot of time to turn this story around about your life, bro. Whether you get back with your wife or not but the most important thing about it is you being in your child's life being a responsible adult being actually there not drunk and stuff when you see your kid man now you just gotta stand up and take responsibility man that's the key word for the day, Bam. It's responsibility for your actions. The things you do in life have a trickling down effect on our families. The things that we do in our recovery have a trickling down effect on our families, man. We, we just do not harm ourselves. We harm everybody around us, Bam. Stand up, man. I believe in you, bro. Family for his son, etc. But the problem is, Bam has been in this kind of low point before and didn't bounce back. He almost died in 2023 due to a terrible medical condition, and yet he's doing this just months later. Will Bam ever try and fix his behavior and attitude? We can't say, but it doesn't look good, and people will suffer until he does. And there you have it, everyone. 
a look at what happened with Bam Margera this time and how this is the latest re reaction to everything that has been going on in his life. Do you feel that things are coming to a head with Bam and that there will soon be no turning back for him? What needs to be done for him to finally get back on the straight and narrow or is that not possible anymore? Let us know in the comments below. Well, bam, look, bro. I'm going to close this out just like this. And if this y'all first time to the show, I'm Mr. Show Out TV. And this is the Sober Gang Experience Podcast. Bam. Get it together. Man up. Get it together, bro. It's been over 20 years you've been in this addiction shit. It's time to step up, man. It's time to step up. Stop pointing the fingers at people. Stop thinking that uh, your wife make you go drink. Stop running off and being ghosts for three and four weeks, making everybody think you done killed yourself. Because I know I don't think you're going to do it, bro. And I don't want you to do it. This video is for educational purposes only. Bam, I'm trying to just give you... I'm, I'm really just trying to give you a kick in your ass, man, what you need right now, bro. You got... A child out there that really needs their father. Your mother and dad need their son. People care about you, bro. People really do care about you, man. Don't nobody want to see you crash out the way you crashing out. I don't know you from paint on the wall, man, but I can see you. I mean, you looking bad. Your appearance, bro, you look bad out here, man. You look bad out here, man. You making all the wrong decisions, man. Because every time you're in the headlines, it's for the wrong reasons. Let's get it together, Bam. I believe in you. I believe you got a lot of more living to do, man. I think you can really still make a difference in the world, in the community. You can go out there and talk to other people that has been battling this addiction. I see a lot of things about Steve-O on, on Instagram. Steve-O is doing great from the public's view. Now, I don't know what he do behind closed doors, but it seems like Steve O is getting it together, man. Because people starting to realize, man, tomorrow is not promised to us. A lot of people want to live a different legacy, man. People don't want to do this until they die. And it's up to you, man. Can't nobody force you to do nothing. You got to want to do it. You got to want to get right you gotta want to get help and you gotta take it serious don't just go do it for the court system don't go do it because so, so your wife can see you or so, or so so she can let you start seeing the kid do it for yourself take accountability take accountability for your own actions and get your ass straight bro so that's where we at that's where we at. I hope y'all enjoyed this broadcast today. I hope y'all enjoyed the broadcast today. And if if this is your first time to the show, everybody, I am Mr. Show Out TV. I'm a recovery advocate. I'm an ex-alcoholic, ex-drug user. All the things that I just said about Bam. A lot of us in recovery go through the same shit. We got to find a way to get up out of that situation. We got to stop pointing the fingers at people. We got to take accountability for the things that we do. It's simple as that. We got a man up, a woman up. Put our big boy drawers on and go out there and be a decent person to society. Change up your story, man. Or you'll be a, just another statistic. That's it. Change up your story, man. Start doing right. Because when you know better, you do better. And bam, you got all the resources 
to go to the best facilities anywhere in this world. Take some time out, bro. Get your mind together. Clear out. Keep your nose clean. And go do it for yourself. I'm telling you, that will be the best thing for you possible. And your child will love it. Your mom and dad will love it. Your friends will love it. You will start loving yourself. You will start looking better. And it also go good in favor with the courts, man. So think about that. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, broadcast today. I hope I brought things that can add value to your life. I hope that you will return to my show. Share this live stream. Share this stream right here. Share this video to somebody that is battling right now. I would love to have you to join one of my memberships. Subscribe to this channel. I'm not trying to be one of them people that just be like, man, hit the like button, subscribe. No, because what I'm doing, I really think that I am creating something special and that I can touch other people out there in this world that is battling addiction. That's what we aiming for. It's not about the money with me. It's not. It's about helping people that's battling addiction because I've been in that. I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be there. It's about reaching people. If I can reach one person every time I do a video, my job is done. So if you're battling addiction right now, I'm going to tell you, just do not give up. Stop pointing the finger. Get your tail up. Go talk to somebody. Go, go, go figure out if there's a rehab in your local area. Go talk to some police officers. See if they have any resources that they can get you into a facility. Go get the help you need, man. Stop wasting your life away doing this dumb shit. Start wasting your life away, everybody. We need to wake up. We're waking up today. This is Mr. Show Out TV. I hope y'all enjoyed this broadcast. This is the Sober Gang Experience Podcast where we try to bring y'all information and have guest speakers on my show. So if you would love to be a guest speaker on my show, I will have my email in the description box below. So check the description. I have my email and my contact information there. So continue to come back to this show, man. I need them returns. I need y'all to continue to watch the videos, share my videos, like my videos. We need to start running it up, everybody. But what I'm bringing is very important. It's very inspirational. It's a lot of information into everything that I do, that I try to bring y'all. I'm trying to add value to your life. So y'all already know how I do. We finna get on up out of here. We finna get on up out of here. But I enjoy breaking this down. And like I said, bam, man, just, you know, you just, you just need a kick in the ass right now, man. You might not even just listen to nothing I'm saying, bro. But you need to get yourself together, man. You're looking bad out here. And I believe that you still got a lot more good in you. I believe that, man. I believe that. I believe you want to do better, man. You just stuck between. You just stuck. You're stagnant. You just don't know which way to go. A lot of you want to do right, but a lot of you still want to be stuck in that bullshit mode, man. It can't be half and half. You got to be full all in and recovery, man. I'm telling you, bro. From man to man, you will enjoy that new life, bro. This is Mr. Show Out TV, everybody. You know how I do. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Hit that like button. Till next time. Yeah, I know how I do. Till next time. Yeah. Welcome to Mr. Show Out TV Recovery and Addiction YouTube channel where we hope to inspire those battling addiction. Please subscribe and like the channel. Make sure you click the notification bell to get notified whenever we broadcast. Thank you and enjoy the show. To support the channel, you can send donations to Cash App Dollar Mr. Show Out TV. So please don't wait, subscribe now. Together we can help and give inspiration to millions of people.